Hey guys, Will Myers with Myers Massage Body Work. And today's strength exercise is going to be the classic push up. Now, there's a lot of stuff out there when it comes to push ups, hundreds of different push up variations that I've been able to work with and see and try out for myself. So, I'm going to give you just some basic stuff today, but then also the other video of this week is going to be a conditioning video with the chest with uh, push ups. So, make sure you go to that video too to really work those muscles. This is just going to be technique for a couple different First start out, make sure you have your mat, and we're going to start hands and knees down. Now, what's very important is to make sure that the hands are directly below the shoulders, okay? Now, in many other push-up variations, you've got the hands in different places, but at least for this classic push-up, we want to make sure that our hands are starting out here, okay? So when we press in, we want our arms coming out versus the different other ways that it can be done, okay? So, we'll start out with a classic chest press, or sorry, classic push-up. Now, we're going to have the feet out, make sure that we're nice and strong. Now, if this is too much weight for you, it is completely fine to come down to your knees. But the only thing is, if you do your knees, you got to release your feet. Because we want to make sure that all of the balance and struggle is for the upper body, not supported by the lower feet. So, if you're going to be on your knees, it's okay. When you come down, rather than being here, Let's make sure that those knees are up, or even better, sorry, feet are up, or even better crossed. So from here, you have nothing helping to support, and it's all your upper body, okay? Now, in that push-up, let's look at a couple key things. We need to make sure that the back is straight, number one. We also don't want to mess with the upper portion of the spine by looking forward. In a lot of squats, deadlifts, push-ups, you see a lot of people looking forward, primarily to watch their form in the mirror. The problem is you then check your form in the mirror and you took yourself out of form when it comes to this portion of your neck. You want to make sure everything is straight. So when it comes to the push-up here, I want to imagine that there's a pole going down that's attached, that touches my head, my back, and the top of my hips. There's a natural curve in my spine and a natural curve in my neck. I want to keep those all as I come down in my push-up and push right back up. Now from here, if you can only get this far, it may be just time right now for you to go up against the wall, lean with a nice angle into that wall, and do the same exact thing that we're doing, push-up style, okay? But just against the wall. So, back to this position. We bring ourselves down, arms go out, make sure that we're nice and strong. Palms are nice and wide so we can use our entire hands to push up back to the top. If you're using your feet, it's just the same thing. We need to make sure that the back is straight, okay? There should be no drooping. There should be no up top. We also just shouldn't be popping here, okay? We need a full push-up. So from there, that means we're all the way down to the ground and back up. I'm also not resting myself on the ground. I'm controlling it and pushing back up. Now that's your classic. Another very popular style is a tricep push-up. So, we can start at the bottom. Because what you're going to do is want your hands back here. Because we want our elbows to be nice and straight back. So from this position, I'm not going to use my chest. I'm pushing with my triceps here. Okay? So the push-up comes back here rather than where it was before. Now, if you're on your knees, you can still use this exercise. You just need to bring your hands from up here to back here, okay? So when I come down, I'm here, okay? Nice, even angles, using your triceps to push out. The last one that I'm going to show you is going to be a wide grip. So if you're using a mat and you've been taking your hands to the outside of the mat, go just outside of that line and try to hold your body up this way. Now, before we go into the push-up, there's one extra step. What you're gonna do is rotate your hands out, just like a nice, light 20, 25 degrees. Nothing too crazy at all, because this angle is gonna help you target that chest. So now that we have our hands angled out a little bit, feet are about shoulder width apart, we take it down and push back up. Okay, nice and wide stance, getting to a different part of the chest. 
you're on your knees, it's still the same thing. Make sure you got that nice wide grip. Rotate your hands and push. Remember, we're keeping the back nice and straight the whole time, okay? So there's three different styles of some ways you can do some push-ups. You can always make combinations out of those. So let's say, for example, we're doing one classic and one tricep. So I'm down here. I've got a stagger stance on my arms and I'm pushing there. Opposite side, all I'm doing is I've got a classic chest press up top, tricep chest press on the bottom, and I'm here. All right? So there's a couple different ways that you can mess with your push-up today. Check it out. Work with your form. Make sure that everything is going smoothly. Okay, and the goal here is to make sure that it's in proper form, proper pace, and that you're not hurting yourself. Take your time with it, okay? There's a lot of stuff that we can build up to. You don't have to jump right into a boot camp push-up, okay? Take your time with it. Work on it this week. Email or call if you have any questions. But definitely check out the other videos. Bye, guys.